didn't expect to see you so soon. Of course, what brings you back so quickly? Do you need help finding a sacred beast's heart? Master Soha may know some hunting locations. Impressive. And real, too. You certainly are efficient. Thank you, warrior. I will extract and refine the chi from this heart for you. This will take but a moment. Let me prepare the vessel. Do not lose this, warrior. The attack on Zyway could happen at any time. And you must be prepared. I've only done my duty. You do not need to thank me. Remember to... Wait, do you see that large man? He's stomping all over our botanical garden. These Tempest guards have no sense of boundaries. Excuse me, warrior. I will handle this. On behalf of Empress Tehu, I bid you welcome. I am Minister Jan Yong. We have been eagerly anticipating your arrival. And on that note, we have prepared a small banquet for you and your young charges. We request that you kindly join us at Sweetwater Pavilion. There is no more beautiful spot to receive guests in all of Gunwon City. Empress Tehu will be there to greet you. Oh, how exciting! Master, I, I don't like it here. It's giving me the creeps. I don't know. Maybe. I, I feel all stuffy and dizzy here. Don't you feel anything? I'll try. But it's hard. I really don't like it. This feels really wrong. It feels bad. I don't... Master, something's coming! I, I can't take it anymore! I can't stay here! Seems our guest has finally arrived. <sighs> I pray this meeting will mark the beginning of a new era for the Stratus and the Talus. Have you enjoyed my palace? You have exceptional taste. Dasari is truly the jewel of Gunwan City. Yanma Fei was wise to send you, per my request. I think we will get along just fine. You know, if the Stratus Empire and Talus Dominion were united, there's no telling what we could achieve. But enough of that. I have someone I would like you to meet, brave warrior. He is the new Imperator of the Stratus Empire. He has heard much of your deeds. I will leave you two to talk. Master? Yeah, sorry about running off like that. I felt much better once I got out of there. I don't know, it felt like pressure from all over and it was hard to breathe. Like something was crushing me. Maybe the crowd was just too much for me. I am now, Master. Don't worry about me. But what about you? You look like something is on your mind. Okay, if you say so. Where are the others? I'll go catch up with them, Master. I don't want them worrying about me, too. Did something disturb your slumber? Assassins? Surely you did. Perhaps you are having a nightmare. A waking nightmare. Your students are resting comfortably. Turn back for your own safety. I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, we prepared a second banquet. One in which your pupils are on the menu. Shall we dine? Now I can meet. Enjoy the Nothing but the best for our guests. Master, I'm so glad you came. I... Uh, I don't know. I was trying to get everyone ready for bed, but they weren't listening to me, as usual. Then, Jin Soyun started screaming. 
She went into the room and closed the door. I thought maybe it was safer in there, but now I don't know. Yes, Master. showed up. I thought we were done for. Is Jin so young okay? I'm sick of dealing with demons all the time. Why can't they just leave us alone? Well, just because you do most of the heavy lifting doesn't mean we're helpless, Master. We can handle ourselves. Though, I guess it is because of all you've taught us, but whatever. Come on, let's get this over with and get out of here. We didn't do anything wrong, Master, I promise. I'm sorry we ran around at the feast. But we didn't break anything. There are soldiers coming over the bridge. They seem... angry. Are we gonna have to fight them too? Thank you, Master. I'm glad you're here. I'll do my best to help and keep the others safe. I hope we can leave this place soon. <laughs> that helped me with the Tyrian cult a while back? What are you doing here? I don't suppose you know anything about this attack on Minister Janyon? Really? Am I to believe that weedy scarecrow of a man attacked you? Students, you mean these kids? You know, the last time I heard about a murderer running around with a bunch of kids, it was a guy named Guihan back from the dead. At least that's what people claimed. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Well, you're not leaving this way, that's for sure. Half the harbor is on fire, and the Imperial Guards have orders to capture all outsiders, as do I. Probably not. The Minister had deep pockets and a wide network. You're really that eager to take the fall. Fine. Since you helped me in the Cinderlands, I'll get your students to safety. But if you or your prepubescent crew turn on me, I'll make sure you all end up in Gunwan prison. Hey, Master! What's this lady's deal? Is she a friend of yours? Ah. Uh... That doesn't inspire confidence. You sure we can trust her? Yeah, I guess you've got a point. So we're just going to forge ahead then? All right, but I'm going to keep an eye on that lady. I know, right? Don't worry. If there's one thing you can count on, it's me keeping everyone safe. Now come on, let's get while the going is good. Can we go home soon? How are we going to escape? Really? Thank you. I don't want to spend another second here. Okay, Master, I will. But hurry, okay? We're not really just going to leave, are we? But what about Ryu? We can't just leave him behind. He's your student. He saved your life. How are we supposed to just leave him in a place like this? He's in danger, too. I know he was always the strongest of us students, but that doesn't mean we can just abandon him. I can't. I just don't want to lose him again. I miss what we had at Heaven's Reach. Grandpa Cho did his best taking care of me and Buna, but... This is different. You gave us all a home, and took care of us, and... And helped make us a family. So please? I can't take losing a brother again. You'd better swear on it, Master. All right. I'm trusting you with this, so don't let us down. Bring back Ryu, and let's go home together. One of the guards back there was asking me about Sweetwater Pavilion. They seemed to think an outsider changed into a demon and killed Minister Janyong. Stories move fast in this city. The truth tends to lag. At any rate, this tree will take us over the final wall. From there, you can glide straight to the Imperator's Tower. I'll meet you on the second floor balcony.
We made it. You're pretty stealthy for someone who runs around with kids. Now let's hope this meeting is worth the trip. If what you say is true, maybe the Imperator will open up to you. He seems to be one of the few people the Empress trusts. I'd like to know what she's up to. On the other hand, you could be walking into a trap. I understand. Well, I hope the Imperator listens to you, for your sake as well as mine. The Imperator should be here. He doesn't strike me as the late-night stroll type. I'm not sure. It looks like someone was here recently drafting a letter or an order of some sort. Maybe, but not here. Right now, we look like a pair of burglars that have come to rob the place. Which, unfortunately, is exactly what I told the guards to- Wait, did you hear that? This is bad. An attack on the Imperator is like an attack on the Empress herself. We need to leave now, before someone else walks in and raises the alarm. The Imperator's unconscious. What did you do to him? I don't want to be here when he wakes up. Actually, we should take him with us. That might be the only way. You certainly have a way with people, Jian. Are all your students so violent? Do you teach the strike first, talk second technique? Well, if Imperator Ryu is your student, I hope he listens to reason. He's fine. Your lessons are severe, but not lethal. He'll live. Really? Well, you could have fooled me. Regardless, the real question now is what happens when he wakes up. It shouldn't take long for the lovely aroma of the Gunwon sewers to pull him out of his slumber. That was kind of uncomfortable, but it worked. We should be in the clear for a while. You taught me everything I know, Master, so I can't take much credit. We should get down to business, though. The Royal Dispatch is both a post office and an archive for the whole of the Stratus Empire. It's filled with sensitive information. The palace sends all its confidential messages from here, so we should be able to send a warning to Yun Mafei. I'll help you send the letter once you've written it. You can use this desk, Master. Who's there? Royal Dispatch Security? An assassin? Who is this? To think I let my guard down so much. You do? Even if she is an ally, I'm surprised she managed to sneak in here. Who is she? Really? She's very important then. I'll let you handle this, Master. I'll oh. keep an eye out. Thank you, Jiansei. That was a close one. I knew the Imperator was strong, but I didn't expect that. Thanks for stepping in when you did. I've been here as a spy for a while now. Though I broke cover after all the ruckus you caused, I used the opportunity to find useful information in the Archives here. But what are you doing here? And with the Imperator, no less. Warner? Of what? War! This is dire! And it explains some of the research I found. While I was sorting through the Archives, I found a lot of tomes that had been recently pulled out. The information is... unsettling. Their text about the Divine Mandate, Empress Tehu may intend to perform the ceremony. Here, take this tome I stole from the Archive. In the meantime, I'll take that letter and deliver it to Her Majesty. Your inventory is full. Pitiful! Everyone, stay together! Looks like those Ebon Drake slipped poison into their attacks. How are you feeling? I'm impressed. The Ebon Drake don't fool around when it comes to poison. Your chi must be very strong to keep it at bay. I think so. It doesn't look like any of them were poisoned, so we should be fine. Just be careful. I know you've endured the mark of the Black Rose, but you're not invincible. If you say so, but as your student, I'm obligated to take care of you. It would be awful if you fell to poison at the worst possible moment. Our goal is just up ahead. Come on, let's hurry and get out of here. This place was a lot tougher to get to than I was hoping. Nothing is ever easy. So this is it then? You open a portal and stay behind? Well, I know, I know. That doesn't make it any easier though. The others fret over you, and that makes me worry, and that makes them worry more. It's a vicious cycle. 
You better be. I was writing a letter for Grandpa Cho before. I don't want to tell him that you died. Not too often, but me and Buna like to send letters to him. He is our grandpa, after all. Huh, yeah. It'd be nice to see the old coot again. I know he'd like that, seeing us all together. Yeah, well, whatever. Come on, quit being all mushy, and let's get this show on the road. I'll keep everyone out of your hair while you work. Warrior, you look ill. I promise you will make it through. You've saved Zaiwei countless times. It is my turn to help you. Gather your pupils and let's go. This gateway won't stay open for long. You can explain everything when we arrive at the palace. You asked for me, warrior. You sent me a letter that said you were injured and that I was to open a dragon pulse. You sent a pigeon saying that I was to come alone, that there was something you had to tell me in person. The Nameless? No, that can't be. I haven't heard from her in days. What happened to her? Who wrote this letter? This is a trap. Find your pupils and let's go, now! Where did Ryu run off to? He's watching for trouble. Relax, he'll be back soon. your time imperator you are strong and they are weak <laughs> what is this Ryu, what's going on what's happening Luna <laughs> damn it snap out of it for you I was getting tired of this charade. How do you feel? Master. You, how could you do this? Good. The poison finally kicked in. Take him away. Master!